Well, good evening. We're here on the Senate side of the U.S. Capitol, where we had a chance to talk to Senator Roy Blunt about a variety of topics important to folks in the Ozarks. When we spoke to Senator Blunt in October of last year, it was hard not to bring President Trump into the discussion. By all estimates, the president has an outsized influence on Republican politics, and critics claim that Republicans in Congress have given up on any attempt to legislate, preferring instead to do the president's bidding. As you might imagine, Senator Blunt, the number four ranking Senate Republican, has a different view. I think that's a pretty dramatic uh, misperception. I chair the Republican uh, Policy Council, the people that work for our whole conference that look at policy alternatives. I chair the, the biggest uh, spending committee, except for defense. I'm on that committee. But if you look at uh, what the president may propose in his budget and what the Republican House and Senate in the past years and what the Republican Senate it will still offer as our alternative. Uh, we have a different set of priorities than maybe not the president himself, but others putting that budget together. And, and I think he looks at the priorities that we put on his desk and whether they're uh, health care research uh, or mental health parity. Uh, or things to do with uh, infrastructure. All of those are things that the president uh, has talked about, and certainly uh, this booming economy is something that ought to be talked about. I was in our state recently. I had the uh, Secretary of Labor there. You know, we're in the ninth straight month now of more jobs available than people looking for work. That had never happened before until nine months ago, and now it happens month after month in an economy that's growing. That's the kind of thing that uh, uh, the Republican Congress in the last two years uh, and the president cooperated on to help create that dynamic economy. I think the president's glad to talk about that, and uh, we're glad to be a, a critically important part of that discussion. Indeed, unemployment is at an unprecedented low. And while some economists might scoff at the notion that government policy creates jobs, it's a political axiom that presidents get credit and blame Hello, for economic conditions. But Senator Blunt says Trump and the Republicans have been more than just passive characters in the country's economic boom. The regulatory reform, the tax reform, just the general sense that uh, uh, we, we believe in a system where, where opportunity is out there and the government uh, needs to be sure that that opportunity is fairly out there, but the government doesn't need to stand in the way of small businesses growing and people getting jobs they wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, uh, people seeing at the at every level of the workforce, particularly the entry and medium level, uh, the kinds of job uh, pay increases that hadn't occurred for a decade or so, but certainly are occur occurring now, and it makes a difference to families. I you know, saw somebody the other day at the barber shop who said twice as many people are getting their hair cut uh, this year as were three years ago. Nobody, uh, people feel like they've got money in their pocket. This is the kind of economy that responds to people who have money in their pocket, to people who feel secure about their job, to people that think that uh, it's more likely they're going to get a promotion at work than lose their job at work. And you can see that permeating through our economy, and the president certainly deserves a lot of credit for that. If you've ever met Senator Blunt, you know he's unflappable and not prone to political bomb throwing. Naturally, then, I asked him whether he might be a good selection for a higher leadership post in the Senate, perhaps as Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's number two, or even as Majority Leader himself someday. After all, the country could use a little less personality-driven politics at this point. Blunt didn't take the bait. I'm happy to be able to represent our state. It's a great state to represent because it so much reflects the economic diversity, the geographic diversity, the, uh, the uh, population diversity of the country. Uh, and in the job I have now, the Republican Policy Council, that's really the, the job where, one, you have about 15 extra people helping you become the kind of policy expert you'd like to be. Uh, and also it's easy to involve them in issues that particularly affect our state. So. I'm lucky to be here. I'm happy to be here. I'm really pleased to represent our state and pleased to represent southwest Missouri, where I'm from. Senator, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And we'll be back after this.